So another interesting case, this time it's mould. Uh, embarrassingly, in this case, well, most of the time I can improve the extractor fans. In this case, I actually damaged it and huge apologies and I'll say more about it later. So here we've got mould growing on the wall all the way up and this is what would have been the original external gentleman's toilet, if you like, outbuilding that's been incorporated into the house. So it's obviously poorly insulated and therefore more vulnerable to condensation and mould. Um, and that's what, well, it's vapour that's the, the primary cause and then heat loss the secondary cause. So we're just going to test the walls to see if they're damp. Oh yeah, look. And that's the normal one, and then that's that's the cold. So getting in behind the tiles here. So it'll take a while for the dampness to dry out, and it will dry from the top downwards, just as it condenses from the bottom upwards. It dries from the top downwards. So what you do, so you find somewhere that's 100%. And then over time you mark it and then over time you just see whether it dries out from that point onwards. Uh, and then the mould, you want to use an um, anti-mould spray or, or bleach, but anti-mould sprays are generally best. Uh, HQ or HG, I think it's called, um, is the one I tend to use, but you know, I'm not... Oh, this is the condensation on this this window here, and this is double glazed, so you're getting it on the window there. Uh, I think so. Sometimes you dry clothes internally without a dehumidifier. I understand. So there's wetness around there. A bit down near the window, but door. No trickle vents, but you know, it's, it's a double edged sword and not necessarily that important. Clothes are dried internally. Your bathroom fan is working very well. It should be 15 litres a second. Taking the fan off, and I can see looking through there, there's a bit of. Uh, material to presumably stop against flies but it's full of dust and really needs cleaning out uh, and the whole thing needs cleaning really. Unfortunately in trying to clean this extractor fan out I actually damaged it. I've cleaned hundreds, thousands maybe of fans out. Um, they're so easy to do and I'm used to hundreds of different models but if one's on the edge of dying then Perhaps cleaning it kills it, and that's what happened here. And I'm really sorry to the owners, and I stick by my satisfaction guarantee, and you can ask for your money back. Uh, I don't, don't have any problem with that. Uh, I do try my best, but sometimes it doesn't work. This gives you an idea of the, the dust. I've taken quite a lot off already, but there you go. It's um, suffocating the ventilation. Useful to see, so you've got condensation dribbling off down there. Yeah, and all, and here. And, then I and you get mould there, yeah. And then I spotted here. It's all, it's all the same thing, it's all it's all excess vapour. So we can deal with that really easily. It okay. won't it won't cost anything to solve it. It's just it's just using the extractor fans and dehumidification if, if you need additional. Okay. So so one of the big problems with this property is there's a kitchen just next to this bathroom and it doesn't have an externally ducted kitchen extractor fan so all the vapor from cooking is just being recycling into the air in fact they sometimes close off the, the kitchen and the conservatory are interlinked but they sometimes close the two rooms off and that obviously exacerbates the problem in the conservatory the key to solving this is put in ventilation the bathroom extractor fan needs a new one. I'm sorry about that, but actually it should be relatively inexpensive to put one in. Uh, and I wouldn't have a fly wire like that because uh, I would just have the flap system. You want to have a f as few things as possible in the way. Uh, 
obviously the kitchen extractor fan and a dehumidifier drying clothes internally without a dehumidifier is i'm sorry to say asking for vapor to move from the damp clothes to the cold wall and that's what's happening here uh, no major problems and uh, thank you very much uh, do add any comments uh, and do subscribe see you the next video